Vladimir Bacic is with Continental and here at MBS they're exhibiting some new technology involving doors. Two different technologies with it and Vladimir why don't you take it from there? Sure but let's first start off with a conventional door. We all are familiar with how it operates. We might not all be aware of the flaws or we just accepted the flaws of these And some of the flaws are the wind can catch it and fling it open into something. Or exactly. If you're on John. a steep hill it can slam back against That's you getting exactly in, right? That's exactly right. And we have also these predetermined detents. So sometimes if you position the door right on the hump, it's gonna fly open and ding the door or the car or damage your vehicle as well. And you have paint transfer, you don't want that. There's no fling protection with the door could bounce right back at you. Additionally, there's no slam protection. Over time, all the components in the door could get damaged, driving up warranty costs, which nobody really likes. With, together with Warren Industries, we developed our intelligent door brake system that solves a lot of these flaws that are inherent with these doors that have been around for over 100 years. So with the intelligent door brake system, I could take this door, position at any position along the whole angle of the door swing path, and it'll just hold and stop. Just takes 40 newtons to overcome, and I can position it again. So that holds nice and light. If there was an obstacle there, it would stop. So there's fling protection. Nice, well. so I like it, that. It dampens, it dampens the, dampens the opening of the door. The higher the force, the more dampening pressure there is. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, so it's going to protect all the components inside. What's beautiful about the system too, there was zero sheet metal modifications that we needed to make. We had the same exact um, clevis point on the eight pillar and the bolt locations for the intelligent door brake system are also at the same exact location. Okay, now so. I noticed something on the door handle too. It looks like a little speaker. What yeah, is that? Yeah, it's an ultrasonic sensor that we use for our, for our obstacle detection. So in case there is a pull, we're able to open up the door and it'll stop in, in, in that location right before it hits that obstacle. Gotcha. So it only is enabled when I'm inside the vehicle and I want to get out, it's going to hold the door in place. So what it does also we have here, you can't really see because of, um, of the sunlight, but we do have indicators, LEDs that's allowing the user inside the vehicle to notify them the vehicle or the door stopped and why did it stop because sometimes you don't see those high curbs at the gas stations you know so we want to know why did the door stop okay so that's this door let's go over to the passenger side Wonderful. you've got another okay. technology there yeah which we call our smart autonomous door and, and I see on top of the hood you you got an innovation award at CES for this yeah thing. exactly in 2019 we recently also to get got another award um, last month for innovation uh, again for the smart autonomous door um, with the Smart Autonomous Door, we did partner with two suppliers, Intiva, which supplied our e-latch, and Stabilis, they, they supplied the door actuator. And thank thankfully for them, we were able to put this whole system together, and we have a really impressive Smart Autonomous Door. So the way this works is that the target is going to be for your robo-taxis, or maybe your higher-end vehicles. But we'll stick with the robo-taxis as a storyline. The robo-taxis, obviously, you don't have a key for that vehicle, so they're going to probably send you a key, a virtual key, phone as a key, which Continental also develops. And once you get that key in, on you, you approach the vehicle, it's going to open up automatically. For the demonstration, we're just going to use the key fob with yeah. RF communication. And as I get closer to the door, it's going to know where I am, and it's going to open up automatically for me. You see that it also had the obstacle in place, and it stopped short. We also have our anti-pinch technology, so in case I am in the vehicle it's, and my limbs are out, it's not going to cause any injury to me or the occupant. So another, another feature that we're incorporating too is with our short range radar and maybe our, um, also our um, cameras on, on the vehicles with the object detection, we're able to protect bicyclists that may be coming up the blind spot. Uh, and, so, and so we don't have to door them or they don't get injured as we're opening up the door. Or if a vehicle also comes up, it's not going to damage. It's not going to damage the, uh, the door itself or injure the occupants. So let's get back into our robo taxi. I get to my destination and let's say I forget, I forget to close the door. Or my, maybe my hands are full and as I exit that perimeter, the doors are going to automatically close for me. So now the robo taxi can go away on its next destination and pick up its next driver.
I love this technology because, you know, we keep talking about autonomous vehicles and all that. You guys have taken it down to the level of the door. Yes. So, exactly. pretty interesting right. how we've got to think the entire vehicle if we're going to move forward on autonomy. That's exactly right. And our campaign was safely there. We want to make sure that not only do we protect the occupants inside the vehicle, we want to protect also the people that are going to be interacting with the vehicle inadvertently, like a bicyclist too. So, as, and these are the safety features that you must need in a robo-taxi or an autonomous vehicle or any other vehicle that, for that matter, both on the intelligent door brake side and also with a smart autonomous door. We're good. Vladimir, thanks for bringing us up to speed on door technology. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Market-leading chemical company Henkel and engineering specialist RLE International launched the Mobility Alliance a strategic partnership to boost the car development process and sustainability by addressing customer engineering needs from the earliest design and simulation phases. Hybrid structural reinforcements for lightweight designs and increased safety. Digital process integration from car development to series launch for higher efficiency. Forward-looking mobility concepts, materials, and technologies for real innovation.